Well, I just did something I said I wasn't gonna do this year. After scouting public land repeatedly at several different locations and not really finding crap worth hunting, I just dropped off a check at my old hunting club. I'm still gonna hunt the other land that I got permission to hunt, but man, it's just so hard to hunt a small piece of land like that and hunt it a lot without putting too much pressure on deer. Uh, all the land all the way around that 22 acres is cut over and thick as crap. It's not like the deer have to be there. So they'll pack up their stuff and move out in a heartbeat. And I, when I hunt, when I get chances to hunt, I want to hunt hard. I'm going to do a little quick scouting, a little recon. I'll see you in the woods. Maybe I can find something. One of my favorite things to do when I'm scouting for deer, it's not really rained a whole lot. And uh, the ground's hard. It's hard to see where deer have really been traveling. I like to try to find a creek bed, either just muddy or a sandy one like I'm in right now, and just walk it. Because the tracks will show up real good. And it'll show you where a lot of activity's been recently because creek beds will hold more moisture. Just like right now. See all these deer tracks? It looks like deer walking up and down this creek bed right here. And they're also crossing right here. There's a fence that runs along through here and it's down right there. So it makes it easy to cross on top of this little ridge behind me is a cut bean field. Where I would assume they're probably traveling up there in the evenings to eat that grass scored up in the bean fields. You see this hickory nut tree right behind me. I climb up it about 20 foot. It's got a couple trees right there below it and it gives you good cover. And deer standing right here traveling this creek bed give you an easy 15 20 yard shot There's one thing i always look for is creek beds when i find deer hard hard to find especially in bow season i'll show y'all one more thing about these ditches now right here a pretty deep ditch it goes along and it's uh it's real steep but there's another one coming from the opposite direction it makes a t and where it tees it makes a saddle. See how the the ground really slopes down through there and slopes back up. Makes it an easy travel corridor for these deer. Uh, I mean, this is a 9,000 year old white oak right here. It's not dropping, but uh, it's, it's kind of bull crap woods right here. And it's thick, thick, thick all the way around me. It's got a little bit of open right here. Looks like a red oak or two over there, but they're small, probably not dropping. But sometimes you ain't gotta hunt a food source. Sometimes you can just find something like this, just a real good travel way and have just as good a look. I'm seriously thinking about hunting this spot this week coming up. I would actually lied. That 9,000 year old oak tree is dropping. It's actually the first white oak I've seen so far. It's dropping good all the acorns i guess because the way that tree is leaning is falling down this creek bed it's a lot of deer tracks around there and i don't know if it'll show up on camera but there's a trail coming out of that thicket coming down coming up and then right here you've got two more trails coming down and right here behind me deer are coming up right straight through there I figure you could climb that tree. That's a red oak. Be sketchy. Hope it don't fall over. But that give you that give you an easy 15, 20 yard shot. The only bad thing about it is you hope hope when you shoot it, they're gonna run back towards the truck because it's some thick crap in here. If that deer goes somewhere real far around this ditch where you gotta drag it up and you're gonna have to call a buddy. I ain't got enough buddies. What's going on? It is October 17th, and uh, this will be my first hunt back at the club. Uh, I'm running late, as always. It never fails. You're running late, or even if you're just on time, you're going to get behind 27 tractors and some old men driving 10 mile an hour coming down here. But anyhow, I'm going to hunt that, that little dried up creek, that little funnel I found the other day, that saddle. And hope for the best. It's a little windy and it's not the best wind for this location. I'm hoping 
since I'm just trying to kill a doe, if I end up do busting a doe or two, you know, it ain't the end of the world. Got to kill a doe before I kill a buck. So that's what I'm after right now. I'm hoping I can get high enough in that tree. And since it kind of drops down right there, most of my scent will be able to blow on my left ear and kind of go over that thicket. Anyways, I got to get to move on. I'll see you guys in the tree. It's 4.02. I'm just now getting set up and settled in this stand. It was a pain in the butt getting in this tree. But I think I'm, I think the wind's going to be all right. It's hitting me and blowing back this way in that direction. And I'm thinking the deer are going to be coming straight ahead or from this way, coming around this creek, crossing right here. There's that giant white oak that's dropping. Hopefully they gonna funnel up through here, feed on these acorns. We got a, a couple hours, two and a half hours of hunting. Afternoons always like that last hour and a half. That's a that's a magical time. The the deer o'clock, deer thirty. Got a wild hair. I'm gonna catch my breath and hopefully see some deer here in a little bit. Alright, it's 6.30. Done got just about too dark to shoot, so I'm gonna go ahead and ease down, I guess. I didn't see anything after them two does. I don't know if it showed up on the camera. It was two does. I think maybe they heard me putting a stand up or something because they was acting real spooky. And uh, they ended up going to my right instead of crossing this creek. I think I'm gonna leave the stand in here and come back tomorrow afternoon. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to hunt a whole different spot. So I think this is mostly an afternoon spot anyways. Deer should be coming from behind me in the mornings. And I don't really have a good way to set up for that. Not to mention, I'll be walking in where they'll be coming from. Not a bad start. Seeing deer, that's always good. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Six o'clock. I'm running a little behind, but it's going to be overcast this morning, so I should be okay. I got to carry a stand in, put it on a tree, hunting a spot I've hunted a bunch of times before. Killed a lot of deer out of this spot. It's just a, a tree line. It's got growed up fields on all the way around it. Some deer use this little, I say it's a tree line. It's about 50 yards wide. Uh, deer just uses a corridor. It's got a lot of oaks in it, red oaks mainly, and, uh, Got a few persimmon trees, but it's getting kind of late in the year for to be messing around with them. And not great weather this morning. It's about 60 degrees, which ain't bad, but it's this real windy. It's got a south wind, uh, about 10 mile an hour right now, and I'm sure it's just going to pick up. So I might be swaying back and forth this morning in that tree. I plan to hunt till, I don't know, 9.30 or 10 o'clock depending on what I'm seeing and climbing down and I got a lot of stuff I'd like to do today. I got some throw and grow. I want to go put at that small property I have because it's not very far from the club that I'm hunting. I'd also like to scout on this club today, put my boots to the ground and and uh, find see if I can't find some deer to hunt. 
But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this gear up and head to the woods. I'll see you there. All right, it, it took me a lot longer to get set up than I thought. And I had to adjust my stand <clears throat> while I was in the tree. I had to, I turned my headlamp on and when I did that, it was a deer right up under my stand. It never blew, it took off running about 20 yards. It sounded like it stopped, started walking. So maybe it'll circle back around and come back on in here. I don't know. about 9.45, I haven't seen anything, but that fawn was probably the deer I jumped when I was messing with my stand early this morning. And she hung around for about an hour and finally fed off to the left. I haven't seen anything else, so I think it's time to go ahead and ease down, slip out of here and do a little scouting, do a little work, see in a little bit. All right. About 3.15, headed to the stand, same stand I hung yesterday afternoon. Getting here a little bit earlier today. Stand's already on the tree, so shouldn't make as much racket in case some does come in again. Got my hunter safety system on. Trying to be a lot better with that. I've had a couple real close calls falling out of trees deer stands it was actually that same tree i hunted this morning uh, about four years ago a little strap that holds my feet broke on me and i didn't have the the strap that ties the top and bottom together so when it broke that stand fell all the way down to the ground and i just had to use my upper body strength to Pull myself back into the top part of the stand and basically hug the tree with my legs and inch my weight down like that. I mean, I was probably every bit of 18 foot up when it happened, so that was scary. After that day, I went and got me a, a hunter safety system, a fall system, whatever you want to call it. This is why I wear a summit. They're not expensive. And they could save your life, so I'd say they're pretty worth it. All right, I'm gonna slip off in here and get to the stand. All right, I'm finally set up. I'm sweating profusely. Like everything in the world was fighting me trying to get set up in the stand. Anyhow, it's a, it's a lot warmer today. It's, a, it's definitely a, a thermocell afternoon hunt. I got it fired up already. I don't know if I want to leave this stand here or pack it out with me tonight. I got that other stand in the back of my truck, but I don't know. I don't know how, how many times I want to give this spot a try. I guess it depends on what I see tonight. If I see deer and you still don't get a shot, you know, it might be worth it. Give it another try. Anyways, let's get to hunting. It's about that time. I didn't see any deer this afternoon. Just 32,000 squirrels. I think I'm gonna go ahead and climb down, pack this stand, get it out of here. I think I got a pretty good idea where I'm going in the morning. I wanna use this stand for that spot, so. 
I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. I'll probably be running late.